just got back from hunting figures. Shopping bags, pretty fine, bitches. Look at me, I'm a geek. Tripping future waves, I will be copying you all. Small legends, dudes doing them reviews, fella. What's going on? It's your boy, that was dude. And you know I got it, so subscribe. What's going on? It's your boy that was doing today. We're doing another action figure review today. We're taking a look at Mattel WWE Elite, the future. No, not just the future, the undisputed future of the WWE Seth Rollins figure. Big shout out to Impulse Wrestling Figures on eBay. Got this bad boy. Oh, actually, no. Sorry, I didn't get you from Impulse. I got you from another seller because you were $15 and Impulse wanted $25. I wasn't paying $25 for a loose figure. Um, Anyhow, big shout out to that seller. I forget his name for the deal. Um, He was accurately described. You said it was a figure you took out the package and hardly played with. So I bought it. Love it. It can't complete. I can't find the other brick for some reason, the other cinder block. The other piece, it's somewhere, it's somewhere in my box. And I, I love this figure, man. I, the reason why I got this guy is I do miss him right now. He's off TV. He tore his a ACL, MCL. I know what you're going through, Seth. Here's to speedy recovery. You're more fit than I am, so you'll probably come back sooner than you think. Uh, Red reports that he is actually expected to come back sooner, which is a good thing because there's not a lot of uh, peop viable superstars on WWE TV right now. Everything's relying on Roman Reigns, and I like Roman Reigns, don't get me wrong, but I don't want to be force-fed something that I don't think should happen, though I, I am a firm believer that Roman Reigns did pay his dues, he does deserve the WWE title, um, but right now my favorite is him, Seth Rollins. This guy really reminds me, in, a, in, a, in some ways, of CM Punk, as far as it goes on the mic and uh, drawing some heat from the crowd. His wrestling style is phenomenal. It's kind of like Daniel Bryan, who we just recently lost to retirement. And uh, he's a well-talented guy, man. I saw some of his matches when he was in Ring of Honor and um, the independent circuit. And I'm, I was really blown away. And, and sad to see how limited these guys become once they come to the WWE. You know, they're told not to do a lot of these moves, which is understandable. Um, he comes with... Nice accessories. He came with, like I said, the two cinder blocks. He comes with his vest, which is nice, rubberized material, very soft. It's not, it's not nearly the equivalent of like maybe one of the t-shirts, the the not the cloth ones, the the plastic ones, or the one of those trench coats. This is actually more flexible and softer. But we'll, we'll get into it down down to the review. He comes with a money in the bank suitcase. This is actually the Elite 37 release, I believe. This is not the Toys R Us WrestleMania exclusive that comes with just the Money in the Bank and this WWE title. This I got from Impulse Wrestling. I only wanted nine bucks. I didn't mind paying it. I do want to get that WrestleMania Seth Rollins. I missed out on it. Um, my Toys R Us never has anything, but hopefully. I haven't been there in a while, so let me. I'll probably go this weekend and see what's going on. Hopefully, I can scoop that up. Um, another complaint I have about this figure is uh, Seth Rollins' head scan is undeniably identical to him. It looks really good, man. Very well made, very well scanned. My problem is his hair. I'm not feeling his hair, man. His hair, he doesn't have all that blonde hair no more. It's only a couple strands. He let the, the dye grow out. Which, I mean, it's not a bad look, you know. But I think Alex, Alex Shelley was the first person to do this style. But they should have been more accurate with the hair. Half of his hair is not blonde anymore. It's just a couple strands. And that's it. The body, the body scope. I've never seen this, but it definitely looks kind of like Triple H, but shrunken a bit. And it's well done. It's well made. I wish they gave him his some of his chest hair and stomach hair or whatever. But I guess it wasn't in the budget because he came with all these 
accessories. Now I want to get into his vest again. I mentioned it's a really soft material. It's not like those plastic shirts. The plastic shirts give give more um, resistance, so to speak. You know, but it's really good, soft plastic. Got his Power Ranger armor. Looks cool. You see the, the detailing right there, the padding. There's nothing on the back with two nubs, though, to, to close it. We have that. We have a cinder blocks, which break away. They break apart, as you can see here. You can see the other half, which is cool because it allows me to be able to do his real finishing move. Not that stupid pedigree. I miss doing the curb stomp. I really do. I miss seeing it. He used to he used to do it so gracefully and and it looked so real real, you know? His money in the bank suitcase is nice. I think it's a bit big. It's a bit too big for what it is, but it's okay. It has the nice decal with the new WWE logo. There's nothing inside, which is fine. You can put whatever in there. Put a hammer, some weapons, anything, you know? Anything that fits. And then let's take a look at him. And he got his great tights with his silver Seth Rollins logo with the black lines. The WrestleMania is black tights with gold trim. I hope we get a a SummerSlam Seth Rollins, the all white, looking like the White Ranger. But I love this figure, man. This figure, you know, the Mattel elites, all the figures actually, they're pretty much plain figures, but. For some reason, they all carry some individuality, just like they did with the DCUC line. <clears throat> and you see the bag got his tattoo, his kanji tattoo. And then his articulation, of course, his head does go back a bit, looks down a little bit. Side to side, ball joint his shoulders, bicep swivel, single joint and elbow, wrist swivel, hinge, so he goes back and forward. He has an ab crunch, waist swivel, his legs go out a lot, upper thigh swivel. Double jointed knee, boot swivel, and his ankle pivot is down in front. He got a little rocker. Now, what I like about this figure is, unlike a lot of the WWE elites, you get the full use of his joints. You could bend his knee the way it's supposed to. Not all the way, but it is much better than you would see on your average WWE figure because they have those big, clunky... Um, knee pads and the elbow pads to stop him also uh, some changes I would like to see in this line is actually a double joint elbow I really would love that it would be really good as far as um, posing you know doing some some figure posing action figure posing that that hobby that's been p getting some mainstream media pickup you know some pictures so you can get them into proper um, submission holds and stuff like that that'd be great he fell. That'd be great if we could get some of that. Um, and that's about it about this figure. He's really well made. I'm happy to get him, have him. I'm hoping to get the WrestleMania one, even though I already have it, the belt. But I just like the the different the different look, the black tights with the gold trim. So. I got some Daniel Bryan's on the way. I got his his last elite figure with the Yes shirt. And I have the one when he won the world title, I believe. When he had his short hair. But the beard started to grow. I got those on the way from Ringside Collectibles. But that's the review on this guy. But he is the Undisputed Future. Here's to, a, again, a speedy recovery. Because I miss you on WWE TV. I want you back. And hopefully, you'll be better as ever. That's the review. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Those links are in the description below for the following. My Facebook page, my Twitter, and my Instagram. Holla at your boy. You already know. It's your boy Devil's Do. One.